Lars Rugatz in Georgia, you're quite a known uh, writer. You have now uh, parts of your books and theater plays translated to several languages. Uh, when did you first start to wish to be an author? An author. Uh, so, I was a painter before I became an author. Uh, I was a cartoonist uh, because uh, my father is, uh, my dad is a um, uh, painter and artist and uh, from the childhood I, uh, I, my favorite cartoonist was the Danish cartoonist Herluf Pitstrup who was very famous in Georgia in Soviet Union especially because he was a communist and um, his books uh, uh, it was the best sellers in Soviet Union and uh, we did not have um, um, uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, like uh, uh, magazines for um, the, the stories, uh, I forgot this, the name, the to title, comics, uh, to comics, yes, mm. comics, mm. yes, comics, and we had the Pitstrups cartoons, and these cartoons were very political, very political, mm. and um, I, 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 I was like this, I was like a, uh, like a Pitstrups, I, I, I had uh, these cartoons like a bit strop. And um, I won some prizes in uh, competition, in cartoonist competition, competitions, and I won, uh, and I, I been in um, Poland, for example, in, uh, in the end of uh, Soviet Union, in the end of 80s. It was my first experience uh, uh, f from Europe, uh, but uh, Poland was uh, in uh, the east part of uh, in the, the Soviet mm -hmm. country but it was for me the Europe of course and it, it is Europe of course and then then after these years I um, published my first uh, um, short stories in a literature magazine in Georgia it was 1997 uh, I was uh, 18 or 19 I was very young for prose uh, and as I said yesterday, that everybody thought that I, I, I was a poet uh, because of uh, if you are young, you should write uh, poetry. It's uh, like a Georgian tradition uh, of writing. Uh, but uh, I began with prose because always I was the fan of prose and especially playwriting because I like uh, very much the plays. I wrote a plays, a small plays because I am a I was a big fan and I'm still a big fan of uh, absurd uh, playwrights, absurd uh, theatre uh, of Eugene Ionesco, uh, of um, uh, Beckett or um, Rojek, uh, yes, and etc. 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 Also, um, Friedrich Dürrenmatt was very uh, famous in Georgia and uh, my favorite ra ra playwright he was. And I began with small plays. Also, I would say about uh, Daniel Harms, uh, who was a Soviet um, in Soviet period, he died uh, during this um, uh, Leningrad blockade in uh, during Second World War, and uh, I, I was impressed by him, and I wrote some several plays. So I published this in uh, end of the 90s, and then 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 I became like a professional writer. Mm -hmm. When I saw myself with, with uh, this uh, distension uh, the, the, uh, that, that I, uh, I saw my, my first texts uh, in magazine. So, so mm -hmm. I became, I think that it was the, the uh, first point of this uh, way. But first did you have this really classical uh, Soviet uh, uh, painter mm -hmm. education? No, um, uh, it was, you know, it was like a college. Mm. Uh, I studied, of course, in school. Uh, school. Uh, it was German school, but very specific German school because it was uh, Soviet Union, but it was not uh, the not Soviet school. It was very open, very free. We had uh, young teachers uh, without these ideological things, uh, the Soviet things, and they were very free and they influenced us uh, as a uh, ch child. Uh, so I began with uh, German, but unfortunately I can't speak 
German because I, I, I can remember some several mm. um, words. Uh, for example, the most important was Deutsch Intensive, Intensive. and uh, Eric Honecker also <laughs> the, from yes yes. And um, then 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 I, I, I went in college. Uh, and then I uh, studied in uh, Theater and Cinema Institute in Georgia, in Tbilisi, and uh, I became screenwriter. Yeah. I see, I see. Yes. And when did you learn to draw cartoons? Um, myself. I, I watched my father yes. uh, and everybody with uh, across me, it was mm. uh, the um, paintings and uh, music and uh, then I become, became a cartoonist, yes, that's what, right. what did your mother do? Uh, mo, so, your mother? My mother, yeah, sorry. Uh, she's architect. She's an architect. She's architect so we're yeah. very cultural. Uh, yes, uh, it's, it was, yes. Were they uh, um, uh, in, in line with the system? Were they communists? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, they're not. Uh, they they were very young because eighties uh, eighties is uh, it's in Brezhnev's yes. period. Uh, it's not very. Uh, it, it, it it was the, the time of stag stagnation, mm -hmm. but it was not so strong as of course uh, like in Stalin's period. The the, 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 the this was uh, the part of uh, um, uh, my grand fair parents uh, life but my parents my dad and uh, my mother they were uh, more free of course mm, uh, and uh, the the friends uh, my parents friends they were also very close to art uh, painting and music and the cinema and etc etc so so for me it was not typical soviet union of course because it was like a, like a, in georgia as a part of soviet union it was not a classical soviet country still in soviet union of course it was a soviet union with censorship with these closed borders and etc etc but georgia was everybody saying this from russia and from ukraine and from kazakhstan and uh, and uh, for other soviet countries that georgia was a, like a like a something not special soviet country and uh, it, it was also my my impression of uh, this time that it was not not very strong and not were very um, close country that's why yeah. everybody in soviet union wanted to make holidays in, uh, in georgia <laughs> or in baltic uh, states yes yes yes, 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 yes. yes. <clears throat> um, then the soviet union comes to an end and mm -hmm. uh, how do you, did you live uh, these two wars Yes, it was very difficult time. Um, uh, first of all, for my parents, because I was a child, I was a teenager. Of course, it was difficult, but not so difficult as my, for, for my parents, because they had the responsibility for everything. And I was a child, and I with my friends, I, I was a, 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 anyway very happy times, because it was a yes. childhood times. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, but really it was very um, problematic period. The end of 80s, um, uh, it was very interesting about this um, movement of uh, national and uh, uh, to find our new identity and this process of um, uh, became of uh, this independent uh, process, but then after Soviet collapse, uh, in this time when when uh, uh, Soviet Union ends, uh, the, in the last days of Soviet Union, uh, uh, in our ca country began the um, uh, uh, the war between the opposition, war. the civil war uh, between the opposition party. I would say that it's not opposition. It, it was not opposition party, part and the, for, with the um, first president. So in the middle of Georgia, in the middle of our hometown Tbilisi, in the main street of Rustaveli Avenue. So, and um, uh, we, 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 for, for us, the collapse of Soviet Union, we, we, uh, we could not understand what was happening because in our country was war. 
So, so many generations they are they are living to to uh, they, 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 they hopes that one day uh, Soviet Union will be end and it 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 came, but it was the tragical things that in these days we we had the wars um, and um, war in um, 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 Tbilisi. So then um, got the Abkhazian war, Ossetian. War, Ossetian was the brief war, and we had in this uh, uh, 25 year uh, our independence for wars. Uh, for war, and um, uh, um, uh, of course, it's, it's uh, very Mm, very the, the, the big uh, uh, part of our life and our uh, I, I would say our neurosis uh, and uh, everybody these wars of course they reflected our, our life and our literature as well. How did you live this? I mean, uh, um, lit yeah. lit literature express starts with uh, the Russians bombing Bomb the, the Tbilisi. Right? Yes, in 2008. How 2008? It's the last one, and I hope it's the last one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> how 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 did you live this then? I mean, is this scene you describe? You describe you were there with your girlfriend. You have your passports and yes, your it's it was real. This it was real. it's this absolutely real. real. Yes, yes, I rewrite this. I put this my uh -huh. real. Uh, story episode from my life because when uh, Russians uh, bombed um, Georgia and in this morning Tbilisi it was a uh, um, uh, 11th or 12th or of uh, August in 2008 they uh, they bombed uh, Tbilisi the Mahatas um, part of um, uh, Tbilisi and we, we wake up wake up in uh, night and uh, it was I, I wrote this in my book so it, it was the the very horrible time for us. Um, a lot of so we were very afraid because when we watched these tanks, Russian tanks, that they are coming uh, inside Georgia, and we everybody we know the stories about Russian soldiers. We they were out of law, of course, in our doing what like like the, uh, yes, and they they they, they were like uh, gangs and bandits and like mm -hmm. that, uh, and we we could see this what what uh, they did. Um, uh, so and they stood in middle in Georgia, in Gori, in uh, uh, yes, yes, it's a tower of Tbilisi, mm -hmm. in Senaki, in Zugdidi, in other small yes. cities, uh, and uh, and we, we we thought that if they will come in Tbilisi, in hometown, so our independence will be. Uh, will be end to, to come to end, but um, uh, and um, for, um, we th we, th we thought that uh, we should disappear. Our independence we should disappear because because of uh, it happens now uh, on the TV and we can see this. So it was very very um, bad experience uh, for us. Um, and um, after this. This war, I think that in every book uh, which I will write or I, I, I am writing now or in uh, my colleagues' books, everybody will reflect in this war because it, it, is a, uh, the, it is a part not for our bi biography but our uh, psychology and our uh, mentality and the, it is the, like it's this war occupied it us. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Do people talk about it? Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, but they are very afraid of this mm, because it's like a part of our tramwa. And it's uh, part of our psychological uh, trauma. It's it's it, it's very close to neurosis, and that's why it's very uh, very sensitive. We are very sensitive with this uh, uh, topic of uh, wars, and it it happens in our uh, days because we can see still now that Russian soldiers they are staying in uh, very near. Um, gory, um, they moved uh, uh, in every month uh, their borders inside to Georgia and uh, Putin is still there, the Russian president, 
and uh, of course the, the he did yeah. yes and he did what he did in georgia 2008 he did also in uh, ukraine in uh, 2014 and uh, he took crimea like he took uh, abkhazia in south Ossetia. it's the same it's the same like that's why i said yesterday that if um, west and the europe um, uh, had some strong position uh, to political Russia. Uh, it uh, did not happen in Ukraine uh, in 2014 because it's very dangerous for Europe. You have very clear uh, political uh, uh, positions, as I mm -hmm. said, right? Yes, yes. Uh, do you also take part in Georgian politics? No, 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 no. no, no. I, On TV debates, I mean, are you, uh, George, TV. are you an intellectual that uh, is going to TV to say now we should do something? This, yes, about yes. politics, yes, uh -huh. but not not in politics. Yes, yes. yes. I, I never. So you said this uh, this night when uh, Tbilisi was bombed, that mm. is the starting point mm. of uh, your book, Literary Express. Yes, this is autobiographical. The first line, yeah, is autobiographical. No. Uh, how many other autobiographical parts are there in this book? Or is everything uh, autobiographical? No, it's not everything, of course. Uh, for example, the protagonist is, uh, I create, created him, Zaza. Um, but some characters, they have uh, prototypes. And of course, in literature, in prose, in novels, it happens. Because every, maybe every main character, they have prototypes. So, uh, in real train, in real literature express, I we had, were. Uh, we, we were 16 years ago, in, uh, yes, 16 years ago, yes, I was like uh, 21 or 22. Mm, I was the smallest member the of this, uh, author. youngest author of this uh, Literature Express and I had, of course, the great possibility to find very interesting characters in this train. Uh, very original characters, very uh, comical, for example, and uh, uh, then I took these some characters in my novel, of course. But, but, it not autobiographical. Um, uh, in Georgia, some readers, they have um, uh, like uh, impression that ah you are writing about you it's you no it's not me it's my character uh, and uh, because in uh, I wrote this in uh, how can I say in first of all first first first, 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 first persons. Uh, persons. Yes. Um, uh, yes, uh, but but it's not autobiographical. But I have here a lot of lot of um, impressions of this real train. I mean, I was asking myself, your, your, your character mm -hmm. is uh, asking himself why he was chosen mm -hmm. being someone who had o o only published <laughs> some sh short stories. Yes. How did it happen that you were chosen being 21? I mean... Yes, it's uh, for me. It's also enigma, but really, uh, really, uh, my friend mm, Lasha Bakradze. Uh, uh, Lasha Bakradze, who the is the, 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 literature. the literature museum, he 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 chose me uh, as a, a young writer, and I think he put me in this train because uh, because he wants to uh, find some young writer who will present uh, uh, who would present the young Georgian writing, uh, and uh, we were uh, we were the uh, two writers, me and. Um, Aka Morciladze, who is very famous writer in Georgia uh, and very good writer. He is the most popular novelist in Georgia and also Lasha was there. So we did not have a poet like uh, in uh, novel literature express and uh, 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 and Zaza. So Zaza maybe Zaza is uh, like a mix of my colleagues, mm -hmm. Georgian colleagues. It's like, a, like I write from some peoples, but he's not uh, not very close to me because he's uh, he's um, irony, uh, ironical and uh, um, self defensive uh, irony. It's it's not uh, it's it, he's not uh, me, of course. Uh, but 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 uh, I, uh, I put something, of course, from 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 uh, other Georgian, my friends, for example. Yeah. It's a satire. Uh, have you always been writing satirical? You know that uh, 
the critics uh, uh, critics position was that it is it a satire but i th i thought when i wrote this that it was absolutely real <laughs> it's not satire it's a realistic uh, yes uh, style of um, uh, novel but of course it's satire because the view it's satirical view mm -hmm. maybe it it it, uh, I, uh, it came from my childhood when i uh, when i had the cartoons and this this uh, uh, um, observation of world it's by uh, it's cartoonist's position of uh, writing, but uh, uh, but my place my place it's more satirical than my novels. I, I would say it's more close to eccentrism uh, to absurd. But I would say that uh, Georgian life and Georgian culture is uh, uh, it's a little bit. Uh, um, um, eccentrical. Um, uh, it's 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 uh, very difficult to find that uh, uh, we have like a, uh, our culture. Culture is like a mix of uh, fairies, of um, uh, of humor, of um, dangerous things, and it's everything. It's uh, in one uh, point. I would say that everything is uh, like a together, and it's uh, difficult to to find the. Um, uh, uh, like a one line of genre it's it's a tra tragedy it's a tragical it's a comedy or what is it it's everything everything is uh, here so um, uh, but literature uh, express of course is more ironical than satirical in my uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if I will definite this uh, this novel there who did influence you in literature? You were talking about uh, the absurd theater, uh, mm -hmm. absurdity in, in general. You said Daniel Schams. Uh, well, yes, uh, but they are playwrights, of course. Um, uh, but um, in prose, maybe, maybe you know that uh, this literature express. It's it 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 was impressed uh, by I, I will say some banal things, but it was impressed by these people, not by literature in this uh, case. Um, uh, but as I said, uh, um, for me, you know, when I uh, in, in the writing process, I was very um, uh, bo b b it it was boring to write with just Zaza's view. Yes. Uh, and then I decided to put here some diaries for other uh, writers so to other to voices. to add other voices mm -hmm. to to have a possibility to hear the other voices, and it was very good because I uh, the the territory of this uh, story became very huge for me in this time because. Um, Lev Tolstoy said that uh, everybody can write with this first uh, voice and it's very easy. For Lev Tolstoy it was very easy of course, but for me it was very very difficult really because you have just one character and you should uh, have just one view to observing this world and uh, we were here in, like in literature express in uh, novel the hundred writers and the hundred I, I, I like a, you know the, the famous short story of Akutagawa Rasemon that they, they, they have the characters have they have other uh, views of um, 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 CD one story and I, I decided to have these uh, different views. How it happens uh, with Zaza's view, uh, or uh, for uh, for example the French writer's view, or for um, the Polish writers and Greek Helena, who is the main character in also in this um, uh, novel. The reader asks, uh, or as a reader, one asks himself after having uh, read the whole book. There is uh, there are like two versions of reality in what <laughs> Zaza, the main character, is telling, and and in what uh, Helena, the other yes. main character, is telling. Is uh, their vision the same, or would you say just in the end we learn that everything was totally different? Uh, everything is totally. Di you know that it's like an enigma, as I said yesterday, because um, uh, uh, for Zaza. Uh, is the like a, everything is for him like a compensation because what he uh, uh, does not have in reality he will find in his fantasy or in his uh, literature reality so 
uh, what uh, in the end uh, we should uh, we should decide we are now in real reality or in Zaza's reality and maybe reader will have some choice that what kind of reality you should prefer uh, yes and for me for me it's the Zaza's reality is the reality of course but in general it's enigma for me there is uh, uh, also one point at the end where uh, the novel is like uh, thinking about itself saying mm -hmm. It would have been a better novel to write about the relationship between Helena and her husband and not about uh, Zaza. Uh, in Wikipedia, you are uh, qualified as a postmodern author. Would you see yes. yourself as a postmodern author? Oh, the, the, the critics, they have so, so, so <laughs> interesting, <laughs> yes, opinions. Uh, you know that. Um, I am, uh, if I am a part of new Georgian literature, because after 90s Georgian literature, and I would say the Georgia and all world became a postmodernical, uh, and of course we reflected our culture, uh, we, we the, the styles, these uh, ideas, and everything. And uh, in the beginning, uh, the new uh, the period when when um, uh, Georgian writers they began writing new uh, texts, it was very postmodernical, very postmodernical, because uh, uh, the uh, after Soviet collapse, uh, uh, Georgian literature became very uh, very. Um, original, very, um, uh, I would say, very hysterical uh, and very open, very open. And uh, uh, some readers, they, uh, they, they had a shock, like a shock, because uh, for them, literature, uh, literature the, the idea of literature, uh, it was like a Soviet idea that writer is a, like a teacher or something like a god who will uh, say that you should do this or that or like this. And uh, literature is like a holy thing with the language also. The, the literature language is a literature language and the languages which we can speak in on the street and in our uh, homes is a different thing. And after this collapse, after the Soviet collapse, when we did not have a censorship, Georgia, beca Georgia literature became very, very open. And some readers, they thought that it, it, it was very epatash, but it was not epatash. It was, it, it was a real instinct, absolutely logical instinct after this time. Because uh, this holy thing, uh, the literature that it, it's a very holy thing and very oh, pathetical thing, it is a really absolutely. Um, I would say that uh, that it's not um, uh, it's not a lively thing. It's a, like a stupid things, and everybody can write everything, everything. And some people, and still these days, some people they they they, they are thinking that no. A writer should write not about everything. You should write. You you he should have some uh, some themes and territories that, that he will write, but not about everything. And not not everybody can write, and not everybody uh, can be a writer. Mm, uh, so it's also the, the reflection of Soviet Union. Mm, so and that, 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 that it's uh, really it's very um, interesting story. Uh, 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 so, so, uh, but now I can say that Georgian uh, literature it's not so postmodernical, and uh, um, uh, now we we did not have in uh, beginning of uh, 90s these genres and differences, but now we have we have uh, some uh, as as in Europe as in other countries that some genres that crimes and and um, some intellectual things or, or like that and etc etc. In the book, uh, someone is criticizing that after the 90s, uh, Georgian uh, authors were only. Uh, writing about junkies and about <laughs> themselves. What, what was this illusion? Was there some? I mean, did you have something in mind? Yes, because that, 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 it, it, it was true that uh, 
a lot of Georgian writers and me also. Uh, we had a lot of novels and the plays and uh, screens about the junkies, about this uh, uh, dark period of Georgia in, in the 90s because, because uh, the junkies were very, very, very uh, not, not I, I can say that they were very, very, very popular, but but it was the it was the Georgia the was very very yes 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 was also a beat literature an influence? Did everybody read all of a sudden? I don't know uh, Burroughs and uh, no yeah. no 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 no. It's absolutely yes. it it was very close to Burroughs, but mm. they did not know that about Burroughs. No, so no. Yes. Uh, yes, but it was uh, like uh, Burroughs and also the junkies and junkies. Uh, and hard, very dark uh, politic mm. and the crime. It was a, like a mix. It's also very, in, uh, really, it was a very dark period uh, because we also we did not have electricity. It's what was real dark, and also with this uh, uh, existential. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why the Iliko is um, our character is very, very against of this uh, part of. There's Literature. also in the book there is this story told that poet, young poets are going to the uh, writers' union with uh, with feces, with shit. Ah, uh, yes. Is there is there a reference in reality? Was there a clash like that? Or uh, it, uh, yes, it dumb? was. It, it is of course uh, it, it was a real um, uh, because of um, uh, in this period of changes. Of course, we had. And we have still some. Um, I can't say that it's a conflict, but it's uh, it's uh, like a, uh, like a very hard discussion between the generations, uh, between the old generation and young generation, uh, and uh, for for uh, between these mentalities, I would say. And in the beginning of the 90s, it was very hard, very hard. Uh, and the, for example, the Writers' Union, it was very Soviet uh, organization. Mm -hmm. And these writers who were in this union, they thought that they are still like teachers, very important people in country because they were very important in Soviet time. Uh, nobody knows, for example, one writer, but he was a member of Writers' Union. He, he had or she had something like, I'm a writer, and uh, he or she was very, uh, very popular and uh, very popular with these ideological things. And he was a, like a partner of Soviet government. And after uh, this, uh, after, uh, in, in the beginning of uh, independence, uh, they were very confused and they, 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 they lost uh, his uh, privileges and everything and, uh, and uh, they were very, uh, very uh, angry about it and uh, they, they, they uh, till these days, they were very angry because uh, the lot of people, they lost this uh, the Im very important position and important party, uh, part of our, uh, his uh, identity. Yes. But was there an incident like that, that people were like, young people were storming into the writers' union doing some mischief, some crazy... Yes, it happened to several times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, many, how many readers... I mean, was, was literature express, was it a success in Georgia? You know, uh, yes, this novel ha had the success. What does this mean? Uh, it, means yes. that, uh, it means that uh, this novel has uh, um, uh, 5,000 readers, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Maybe more, maybe more. And it's very, uh, it's like a bestseller in Georgia. We can say, uh, but other uh, writers and other novels, for example, especially some novels, they they had and they have more success than, for example, Literature Express because of maybe um, uh, this novel's political context, maybe for the genres or uh, something like that. Uh, this novel is, I I, I think, more more for for for. Um, uh, for um, literature readers uh, 
and uh, who knows and who is interested by literature. Uh, and uh, because uh, the plot, the, 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 it's, uh, the action is not very classical because it's not, not very hard action in this novel. It's more more uh, with the characters and uh, more literature, as I said. So, um, uh, but, uh, but uh, it it's, uh, it's grows up. Because we, we, as I wrote in literature, I, I wrote this novel a few years ago, and uh, our bestsellers uh, we had just 2,000 copies uh, selling, uh, or maximum uh, 3,000. Then we became and uh, it, it's 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 developed up and up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the book, also. Uh, 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 in People discuss this question when you write: Do you write for uh, a local public, maybe okay. a Georgian public, mm. or for a foreign public? Is this something that you have in mind when you write? Yes, and not me, but I, I would say that Georgian literature and Georgian writers. They had some complex of locality that uh, uh, what what uh, uh, it, it would be understandable just for Georgian uh, audience or for foreigner audience. It was the the like uh, the uh, the. Um, uh, the complex of uh, for, for Georgian writers from the beginning of 20th centuries because when I read some uh, letters from great Georgian writers in from the beginning of uh, 20th century, for example, Mikhail Javakishvili or or other writers, they had also this impression that it's it would be understandable for European readers or for the, uh, uh, they did not have this possibility because of Soviet Union, because the great writers, they were killed by Soviet government, by Bolsheviks, and for example, this the greatest novelist, Mikhail Chavakeshvili, he is not well known in um, uh, for European um, readers, reader, uh, but he's really very interesting writer. Uh, and I'm very happy that uh, his uh, most um, uh, great uh, novel, Kvachi, Kvachi, Kvachi Antiradze, uh, was published in uh, London uh, by the fantastic uh, translating uh, by Donald Rayfield. And maybe some readers, maybe in, uh, in Germany also, or in um, Switzerland also, will uh, some, some, yeah, some publishing there. Yes, yes, because he's a the, the very, very, very great writer. Uh, oh, 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 and uh, till these days, uh, we have this um, um, scary, or how I can say that uh, it is local our stories, or it's understandable. But now we can see that we 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 we, we try to find new readers, new new spaces for our um, literature. You uh, uh, um, uh, show Georgians as being uh, uh, somehow uh, afraid a bit when mm -hmm. they go out, uh, mm -hmm. they're not very happy. Uh, they have this like minority complex mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the Europeans. Um, could you explain a bit it's, what? Yes, it's like a. Uh, Social complex, or, or because I, I, I said yesterday that it, it is a, like a, a, um, a homo sovieticus uh, fairies, a or a, of, uh, yes, of yes, sovieticus, yes, because mm -hmm. uh, because in nineties. Uh, uh, it was very different. The the world, uh, the European world, for example, and the European uh, style of um, uh, lifestyle or the uh, life culture, because it was uh, very deep. The Soviet Union was very close. It was very different, and nineties also. It was very, as I said, very dark. And um, uh, Georgians, a lot of Georgians, they had, and I have also, I, and I had also some something that the the, the um, uh, scary of uh, mistakes. Maybe I would have some mistake. Yeah, I can hear uh, come uh, like that or all other. It's it's absolutely ne neurotical thing. It's, uh, those are stupid things. It, it, uh, that's why I'm saying that it's a so homo sovieticus, uh, the Soviet citizens. Uh, scaries or, or affairs. And, um, uh, and Zaza and Zviat 
have this problem. Uh, but now I don't think I, I uh, don't think so that that uh, young uh, generation have uh, these uh, complexes like, for example, we had or our parent generation had uh, after this uh, Soviet um, lifestyle. Yeah. For me, I mean, you haven't traveled a lot. For me, it's mm. always very funny when I hear the Europeans because in Europe, no one has this idea. Europeans of being well, European. European. It's like a national. The, the, the Greek and the Greek the and the, the Swiss and, and, the Swiss and or the Swiss are all totally different. Yes, mm. yes. For for uh, for us, it's European and was for us. But we 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 um, uh, now now we think that we are also. Europeans, but uh, it's it's uh, for us. It's not Asia, of course, Georgia, and uh, we were were uh, in past. Uh, Georgia was the part of uh, like uh, with culture, with uh, also with Christianity and other things in um, period of. Uh, our historical period, and then uh, we had a very horrible uh, stories with empires, with huge empires, with Ottoman empires, with uh, Iran, with Russian empires, and then then we lost this way with what was our uh, I would say the historical way to close to Europe, and but now we have this possibility. On your uh, uh, mm -hmm. government buildings, uh, there is everywhere the flag of the European Union. Mm -hmm. How much did the Georgians? Uh, 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 I don't know. Or how, how did the Georgians feel when uh, the Dutch, for uh, uh, egoistical reasons, voted against these treaties with Ukraine? Yes, we. Uh, for us, it's not uh, not understandable. Mm, uh, if I will say this very open, because. Uh, we can see what happens in Ukraine uh, and uh, what kind of, uh, of uh, important and very tragical war they had and they have with Russia, with Putin's Russia. And for us, the new Russia is like, uh, uh, it's absolutely, they have the same ambitions, uh, the Soviet ambitions, the empire ambitions. And uh, Ukraine needs now a uh, lot of friends a uh, lot of strong friends who, who who will have this strong position against Russia, and when that they touch people, but they have maybe they of course they have uh, the, the the opinion, but uh, for us it's uh, it's like a shock, because for us it's very black and dark, and you should decide what we, you have a choice and how you can leave your friend, who is the against of dark black. Empire, how you can leave this alone with this horrible um, empire? It's it, 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 like a betrayal. In the book, you, uh -huh. you describe it like that. Uh, uh -huh. Zaza is saying uh, that the Europeans are not uh, at all interested in the bombs that are falling in Tbilisi, and then he says, and we. Uh, I don't give a rot as about uh, Pakistan and yes, says, uh, that's why Korean, maybe we are there, Pakistan. Uh, yes, maybe, 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 but uh, you know that um, Zaza is thinking in the end of this book, and I'm, I, I think that uh, now world is very, very, really, very small because. Uh, Pakistan or Georgia or uh, uh, the Dutch people or Germany, it's very, very close because of the uh, problems. Because uh, the, the, my problem became, uh, for example, the Georgians' problem became problem of two for Ukraine in 2014. And that means that it, it is a problem for Europe, for Germany, for Swiss, and it's very close. It's very close. So we should we should think that uh, our identity is very, very, very close. And uh, you should decide, as I said, that uh, which which part is for our, uh, for for us important. This black part. And it's the Russian part. Or yes, of course. And I'm, I'm not uh, subjective. I, it's yeah. absolutely objective. The things because uh, if we see this, uh, if we know what happens in Russia, and what is happening with Russian people, uh, for example, for, with my colleagues 
who are the lot of them, they are very against of Putin's regime, Russian writers and Russian playwrights, for example, and what kind of problems they have, and the people, what kind of problems they have. You, it's very, very easy to understand what is happening now, what, what kind of dangerous uh, comes from Russia.